In today's video, we're going to show you what it took to set up our RV pad on our future homestead. Walking tight, we'll say the light and I cow you. So what we're going to show you today is what it costs us. We'll give you a cost breakdown for each item and then a total cost at the end. Um, we have a property in Tennessee. A lot, a lot of our followers probably already know we have property in Tennessee. It's our future homestead, even when we ever decide to go back to sticks and bricks living. Or right. Come off. We'll probably yeah. never come off the road. We'll always travel no matter what. But This video is going to show you uh, the steps that it took us to get to where we're at where we're at now yeah. here so that we can come and go as we please mm -hmm. um, it's so, just a place for us to land right now yep so right. obviously we bought the property the property is 10 acres it's in in uh, tennessee it's it joined with my brother's, brother's property, property. So it was mm -hmm. his property we bought the 10 acres from him so the first thing you'll see in the video is we had to set up the electric so we had to run the wiring. We ran it underground from a transformer over to our transformer, which was, I think it was about 920 feet. It was correct. It was over 900 feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, we hired an excavating company, Mountain View Excavating, to dig the trench and set the uh, boxes because there had to be a pull box and a transformer. And we had contacted our local authorities to get that permit and electric installed Started, right. right so mm -hmm. they dug the trench and they supplied the conduit which was a two inch conduit and two one inch future conduits for uh high speed internet or something the county was requiring that they be put in so we did that and uh it cost us 3800 bucks for the electric company the to run permit. the wire and mm -hmm. the permits and all that stuff and then it was 10900 for the excavation and backfill and setting the boxes and all that stuff. So that was the electric. So the next thing we moved on to was the concrete RV pad. And we had a company come in. I got it a little bit uh, graded, roughly, with a <laughs> tractor. And they came in and did the final grading and, and uh, right. poured the concrete pad, which is 20 by 40, I believe. I believe that's correct. Mm -hmm. So that was... Three Brothers Concrete did that in the area, and uh, they charged us $4,500 for that mm -hmm. part of it. So I'm going to be you looking at nice. my notes here and there. Yeah. So um, then we, at the same time that was going on, right right after that, we had a company come in with a uh, forestry mulcher. It's called Extreme Works. And they cleared out a couple acres of the woods next to the pad here. That's incredible what that machine does. Yes, so. I, I had no idea. Um, uh, that was good money spent. We really enjoy yeah, I want to do more. That area. We're going to do little pieces as we go. We'll probably clear most of the 10 acres, at least open we'll it up. See. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Yeah. So that was thirteen fifty for the day. Um, the next thing we went on to... And we originally had a price to do this water line. It's 2,700 feet, and it was roughly about $30,000 to run the water line from the road up to the top of the top of the hill here where we're at. But we did it ourselves labor-wise. And did you say how many feet that was? I didn't 2, catch it. 2,700. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the permits in the tap were 1800 bucks. The excavator, I rented for a month because it just worked. If it, if it was for a week, it'd be a thousand bucks for the whole month. I could get it for two thousand. So we rented the excavator. And you had other things that right. you wanted I, we to did excavate other stuff. We did a lot of other that stuff. That wasn't with strictly it. Did, just for the water line. I dug the trench for the stone wall, which we'll get to later. I dug a trench for some other electric yeah, work. Just I did a lot of work stuff. that you needed. I built to a do. wall for mm -hmm. our little shooting range that we have. <laughs> uh, 
and did all kinds of stuff. So the water line, the excavator was 2000. Like I said, the permits in the tap were 1800. And then the PVC pipe and the miscellaneous fittings came to 5354. So that was a total of 9154 for that section for the water line. And that water line took us nine days. Terry and I did it. Terry laid all the pipe. I did the digging, the backfilling, and, uh, you know, she put it all together. And then, I trusted his supervision to do it because right. I hadn't ever laid pipe. We never used that kind of pipe either. It was a compression pipe where you push it together, you, that kind of thing. And it's a little it, different. It's not a glue pipe. so it's. A, it was not line. a one-man job right. for sure. So, But we got it done. So, and what yeah. did we save ourselves? About twenty five thousand dollars. We saved, yeah. Well, estimating. it cost us nine grand, so we saved we saved about twenty grand. Yeah. They were going to save twenty thousand dollars. for that. That's okay. I'll yep. take it. <laughs> so then uh, we moved on to the driveways. Mountain View did the driveways for us again because they have to dig it out, haul in a ton of shale, and then uh, top it off with some Crusher Run, which is three quarter inch gravel. Um, Good family. Yeah. Owned and operated. Yeah, they're good people, mm -hmm. and they're honest. Their prices, if I would have tried to do it myself, by the time I paid the trucking to get the material in here, it would have been a lot more than what they charged. We've been very show. blessed to come across them. Yep. Very pleased with their work and their work ethic. And So the top driveway ended up being a total of $11,528, and the bottom driveway was thirty nine seventy nine plus six ninety two for stone. So the total for the top and bottom driveways was 17434 And what that is, the reason there's a top and bottom is... We share a driveway in between the top and the bottom. Yeah, and we have the property to put our own driveway in, but it would be about a mile and a half total, the way the way the driveway is laid out. So. Yeah, about um, a mile it is. Yeah, about a mile. Um, just it was a keep mile. in yeah, mind... It was a mile. You know, these these prices and the work that we had done, obviously, are specific to our site. Um, so it will vary if you choose to do the same setup or similar, depending on the property yeah. that the you purchase. The cost is, right. a lot of the cost is because we're so far from the road. We're exactly. We're on the hill. Mm -hmm. So it's a, that's where the expense comes in. All right. So after that, we had a shed. We bought a shed. And we had it delivered, and that was twelve thousand two eighty five for the shed. And then we did insulation, drywall, electrical work. Uh, the insulation, drywall was the insulation was five twelve. The drywall was twelve eighty, and the electric stuff probably three thirty two. The then we had some de decorative stone delivered, or. Yeah, decorative stone and wall block for the wall that you see behind us. And uh, and let was... me just throw in here, this wall, Randy laid every block, block by block. Yeah. I have to give him credit, kudos. He so did that, a great job. That that was 672, and then for the that, for the wall block and the mulch was 672 and 574 we spent on that. Um, then I put a mini split in. I did that myself with the help of my brother. That was 1738, and that's been phenomenal. That's oh, yeah, Mr. Cool mini split. Put a link in probably for that. That's well, we'll so easy. It's a do it yourself. It's already charged. You just put it in and hook it up and fire it up. Um, and then miscellaneous parts uh, for the bracket to hold it on the side of the uh, shed and then line cover to cover the lines um, was 188. So the total, all the money we had into the shed was seventeen thousand five eighty one eighty. So we did a lot of work and in that shed. What was the size? It was a twelve by twenty by twenty eight Cherokee structure we got. And what we did that for was we brought we had a bunch of stuff in storage that we were paying on every every month for in Florida. And yeah. I have to give a shout out to my bosses. We got it at a discount for yeah, the three years, was, three plus years. Yeah. It was still, still adding up. So right. mm -hmm. we bought the shed we climate controlled it because we want to keep everything nice. That's what the mini splits all about. And then we insulated it. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't get into the insulation a little bit. It was. Did I say it was five twelve for the insulation, for the wall insulation, which we did. We hired a company in to come in and spray foam the roof, which was twelve eighty, and then uh, electrical work was like three thirty two. So, like I said, the total was seventeen five eighty one eighty for the shed. 
And then we went to Florida, picked up all our stuff and moved it here. So we didn't have to. <laughs> and we uh, did that, what, in like two days, two didn't days. we? Went up, picked it up, <laughs> brought it back, loaded it up, put it in the shed. So mm -hmm. that was the big thing. Um, the next thing I did, I did the lift station. And the lift station installed, we saw, if you saw our most recent video, that was done because we had the, which I'll get to a little bit later, the septic system was installed for the future home if that ever goes in. And a lot, just to try to briefly say about that, we could have put an ins another septic down here, but we didn't want it, two septics because it's two things we got to maintain. Plus, it would have cost us about six thousand dollars for another septic down and here. My logic, it's just the two of us. It's just and, us two, yeah. Right. If we have friends that were to once the home gets built down the road, years down or whatever, and we're in the home and friends come. Yeah. It's still going to be only a couple people. Couple people. So we're it good. just didn't make economical sense for us. No. And the, the lift station basically is because our RV pad's lower in elevation than where the septic system was installed for the house because the house is going up, up that way. I went online, did some research, and I, I have a little bit of history in plumbing work. So I, it took me a little bit, but we got it figured out. Mm -hmm. So the lift station, the total parts were $145 for miscellaneous fittings. And twelve twenty four eighty one for the pump and the housings, and it's basically a big forty two gallon tank in a poly housing with the pump. Everything's installed with the electrical one ten, and you just plug it in after you after you plumb it in, and it plums up, goes up to the septic system, and dumps. We're all it. about plug and play. So the total on that was thirteen sixty nine eighty two, and then uh, you'll see in the video where we moved up top from our. RV pads down the bottom. We moved up, drove up to the top. After that, I well, built the wall. We back up. We moved up top. We moved Is that what top, you said? Yeah. yeah, we move up top. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I built the wall, which was by hand. And I think it came out to roughly about 260 block plus the wall caps. And I had to saw cut them, the caps, and glue them down. So all that was uh, came out really nice. in there. And then the mulch and the stepping stones were all included in that and which we went over that cost earlier with the purchase of the block and stuff so yeah so the grand total you ready for the grand total Drum this roll. was for the uh, shed the rv pad all the electrical work all the infrastructure the septic system two driveways this doesn't include the purchase of the property surveying no, and all doesn't that stuff include the purchase of the mm -hmm. property and the survey and all that kind of stuff, but basically, when we're ready to build a house, we all we have to the do infrastructure is here. Build the house, put the slab in, and tie into the septic and build the build home. the house. So the total on everything is for the, all that stuff was seventy two thousand five hundred eighty nine dollars and sixty two cents. Cha ching! Yeah, that's that. I guess uh, mm -hmm. if you have any questions or uh, comments, drop them in the. Drop them in the comment section below. Yeah, you can always reach out too um, on our website. We have, uh, you know, a contact us form there. You can sign up for our emails, um, chasingthedreamrv.com. Mm -hmm. Check us out if you haven't already. If you have questions, you can send them there. If you don't want to put them on oh, the yeah. YouTube channel. We, we can channel. talk about the other thing too, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, big news, like the big yeah. news, right? Sure. I don't know, big news, but it, it seems like big news. We're going to be on uh, RV TV, streaming on uh, Amazon Fire right now, and like the Fire Stick and, and Roku. Roku. And they're going to add. Uh, they have channels, local stations, depending on the area that you're in. Yeah, there's. Will be featured here and there. Yep. So, so keep an eye out for that. We'll put the address of the station in there. Yeah. And uh, you can check if it out if you're traveling, mm -hmm. and you do over the air stuff, or you can pick it up on your. Amazon Fire Roku Stick. Roku or Fire Stick. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right.
Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.